seeing three ships arriving at the same time in Quebec City is quite exceptional. It is actually the first time in 25 years that we're going to introduce uh, icebreakers into our fleet, so it, it is very exciting and it, it's going to bring a much needed capacity and they will complement our fleet very really well. We're going to have ships that will be able to supplement the, the, the current fleet in order to allow us to continue uh, delivering our services while other ships are going through uh, vessel life extension or major refit. The uh, condition of the ships is uh, very good. We, we sent a, a team of uh, uh, employees uh, over to Sweden to inspect them before uh, departure and uh, they reported a very good condition for a ship that is almost 20 years old. The uh, first vessel will be operational for next winter season uh, and the number two and three uh, will follow after in, in 2019. They're going to be able to deliver the suite of Coast Guard programs, search and rescue and so on, but their main, their core program is ice breaking. So they're going to be delivering the service in Atlantic Canada, in the Gulf, in the St. Lawrence River and on, in the, on the Great Lakes as well too, as well as we'll use them in the Arctic as needed. This is exactly what we needed for now because we have an immediate uh, requirement as ships are undergoing vessel life extension or major refit, we need to pull ships out of service so those ships will ensure that we can continue uh, to, to deliver on our mandate and ensure safe uh, transit in, in Canadian water. Thank you.